To remove the blade on my circular saw, do I turn that blade changing bolt clockwise or counterclockwise? I don't remember. To install the blade, do I have those teeth running upwards or downwards? That's, uh, yeah, a bit tricky. And I can't even take that blade off because the blade keeps spinning. Ah, that's it. I give up. G'day folks, Uncle Nakis here and in today's video I'm going to show you step by step how easy it is to change a circular saw blade. Now this video is just an example of what to expect from my Circular Saw for Beginners Masterclass. So if you're interested, make sure you stick around to the end of this short video for all of the details to get you started. You won't be disappointed. Now, like I said earlier, changing a circular saw blade is actually quite an easy task. But the first thing you need to do is that you must disconnect that power source as you don't want to accidentally start the machine. If your machine has a power cord like mine does here, remove that from the wall. Or if your machine is battery operated, remove the battery. Next, we need to locate that blade changing wrench or spanner. Now, more times than not, you'll find that tucked away somewhere around the back of the saw. Now, if I can just do a quick close up, you'll see that mine is right here. Now, if I remove that, excuse the fingers, you'll see that mine comes in the shape of an Allen key. Now, just be aware that different models and different machines may have a different style of wrench, but they all do the same thing. Since we're talking about blade changing wrenches, as you can see, my Allen key fits inside that blade changing nut, which then enables us to either loosen or tighten that blade changing bolt. But what happens if you lose or misplace that designated tool? Well, in most cases, there's nearly always a second option. So there's no need to panic. If I lose my Allen key, I can just simply use an adjustable wrench to either loosen or tighten that blade changing bolt. Now that you've located your blade changing tool, the next thing we need to do is to lock that blade to stop it from spinning. Now to do that, just go around to the front of your saw and push in that blade locking button. Now sometimes it feels as though the button doesn't want to go all the way in. So to rectify that, just wriggle that blade backwards and forwards and you'll hear that button engage. There she goes. And make sure you keep your finger on that button. If you take it off, it'll disengage. Now come around to the front and to loosen that bolt, we need to turn the tool in the same direction as the arrow on the guard, which in this case is counterclockwise. There she goes. Now we can take that bolt out. There it is. And then remove that specially made washer. That one there, that fits over the arbor on the saw. Then just simply retract the guard and that blade will come straight out. Speaking about saws, I went to the zoo yesterday and saw a baguette in a cage. The zookeeper reassured me and said that it was bred in captivity. <laughs> bred in captivity. Classic. That was a beauty. And to install the new blade, just simply repeat the process, but in reverse. So retract that safety guard and then install the new blade with the teeth running in the same direction as that arrow on the guard, which is always in an upwards direction. Place the blade over the arbor and then lower down that guard. Replace the washer, which locks into place. And then screw in our bolt in a clockwise direction. Now once you get to the end and you want to tighten that bolt, once again go around to the front of your saw 
engage our blade locking button and then with our blade changing wrench firmly tighten and there you have it told you it was easy now just before you guys turtle off just a quick message to let you all know that I'm putting together a mini course yep a mini course link down below and also up there somewhere regarding all things circular saw related which will include topics like what to look for and avoid when buying a circular saw should you go corded or battery powered there will be circular saw basics including tips and tricks and maybe even a simple project to give you the confidence to start using your saw safely and effectively now if this is something that may be of interest to you please sign up to my email list the link is down below in the description box and I'll send you an alert when the course is up and running. And if you're watching this in the future, please feel free to sign up as well and I'll send you the link to the course. Alrighty, after all that, I'm off for a cup of tea. So till next time, be good, be safe, and I'm out of here. Cheers.